a thread by Carlos Osuita. Glenn Kirchner of MSNBC is clearly an idiot. In his childish spewage about President Trump, he butchers the definition of manslaughter. Glenn Kirshner tweeted, yes, my friend, as a former career, former career homicide prosecutor, I can tell you that Trump's contact, conduct fulfills all three legal elements of manslaughter. Evidence must be presented to a grand jury beginning in January. Indictments are sure to follow for those lost and their families. Hashtag justice matters, Carlos continues. For one thing, he doesn't differentiate between voluntary and involuntary manslaughter. For another, he must be talking about the federal definition of manslaughter. Here it is, quote, manslaughter is the unlawful killing of a human being without malice. It is of two kinds, voluntary, upon sudden quarrel or heat of passion, involuntary, in the commission of an unlawful act not amounting to a felony, or in the commission in an unlawful manner or without due caution and circumspection of a lawful act which might, which might produce death. As you can see, there aren't three legal elements of manslaughter and Trump can't be charged with any crime. And this guy was a federal prosecutor in the United States Attorney for the District of Columbia Homicide Section. Guess who his boss was? Robert Mueller. Every single case Kirshner prosecuted needs to be reviewed. Let me tell you what Mueller, Comey, and all the other swamp rats did to me. I now agree that you must never talk to cops. These guys ruined my trust in law enforcement. If anything happens, lawyer up. Let your lawyer do all the talking. It's simply too dangerous to allow yourself to be interrogated if you come under suspicion for a crime. I feel terrible about doing this, but if they'll go after the president, none of us are safe. What kind of person is Glenn Kirshner to lie and say that Trump can be charged with manslaughter. He's telling us that the law should be applied arbitrarily in order to abolish political dissent, just like the Chinese Communist Party does. I've been watching the massive, spontaneous Trump parades and regattas and caravans. Occasionally, you see a tiny band of Biden supporters barking out the same dreary slogans from 2015 and 2016. They think a Biden landslide is coming. I'm going to love election night. And after Trump wins, I hope he fires as many federal law enforcement criminals as he can. Remember, Trump does almost everything under the radar, so I don't need to see it. But they need to lose everything. Let me end with an allegory. The raving lunatic Jim Carrey played Andy Kaufman in a terrible film called Man on the Moon. Even the trailer is agony to watch. Link in the thread. Now, Kaufman did a wrestling thingy and ended up in the ring with a pro wrestler named Jerry Lawler in real life, not in the movie. The whole thing was staged but apparently nobody knows this. Lawler and Kaufman appeared on David Letterman months later. Lawler gave a long interview in which he explained that before the Letterman show, Kaufman called him and they choreographed their appearance. Kaufman asked Lawler to slug him and Lawler didn't want to. But the showman in him took over. When he stood up, he and Kaufman looked each other in the eye, and Lawler saw Kaufman's approval, so he slapped Kaufman. This is in real life, not in Man in the Moon. When Kaufman threw the mug of water on Lawler, he again made direct eye contact so Lawler could prepare himself. Lawler said that he knew the real Andy Kaufman, who was nice and polite. 
So the point that he said, to the point that they said they became friends. So when they made that horrible Jim Carrey movie, Carrey thought that Kaufman hated Lawler. Therefore, Carrie spent all his time on set harassing Lawler. Carrie threw things at him, insulted him, put signs on his back. Lawler realized that Carrie had no idea Kaufman and Lawler had choreographed the Letterman appearance. So when they recreated it in the movie, Lawler got his revenge. He hit Carrie as hard as he could, quote, slapped the taste out of his mouth, link in the thread. This is what happens when you start believing your own bullshit. I'm not a fan of Andy Kaufman's humor, but I knew it was all an act. The wrestling pile driver move is done in such a way that the person isn't injured. His shoulders are braced by the other guy's thighs. The head of the person being pile driven doesn't hit the ring mat. I saw all of this happen live at the time and I knew it was staged. I knew instinctively that Kaufman was only putting on an act. But Jim Carrey didn't know. Madness. Leftist Hollywood is a sealed ecosystem of insanity. Today, they're all venting. From Breitbart, Hollywood celebs rage and defeat after Barrett confirmation. Revolting. Disgraceful. Good. Wait until election night, kids. We are going to laugh and laugh and laugh at you. I will be the greatest president that God ever created.